Good, nice one, good nice. job, mate. Yeah. That was your first cast. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, what, second? Oh, was it? Yeah, second. I'm going to let it go. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Send me one. another big bear. Nah. <laughs> oh, and off he goes. So good. <laughs> G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. So today, we're out on country, we're being shown around by the boys. Let's go. Warwick up here, Warwick and Jane. Samal driving, and Zeke's in the passenger seat there. Getting shown around their country. So we're gonna go chase some barramundi down, hopefully. Chappy? He's cooking the damp up, mate. Oh, look at all the ducks, man. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Where's the shotgun? Yeah, here's my shotgun. Holy shit. That's nuts, man. All off that one water hole. <laughs> There's all the snags down here. Oh yeah. Say hello boys. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Is this where you got that barrier the other day? Look at all the snags. No, no, no. What a bloody good spot. Any luck yet? How'd you get down there? Just jump straight down there. Yeah, he is. You got one? Yeah, he's on. Oh, he's alright too. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Oh, good shot, mate. Nice. Oh. Pass him up here if you want. Did it. Slim twitch up? Slim twitch up. Nice mate. <laughs> got something else to go on the fire tonight then. The boys want to keep it? Want to keep this barra boys? Want to keep him? How big is it? Pretty big. Yeah. Maybe 60. 60. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cheers man. Yeah. Cheers, thanks for that. Right. You wanna bleed him? Just 
So some big crocs here, eh? Yeah. Don't want to go in the water. No. <laughs> big, big crocs, eh? Yeah. Might get the drone out soon and fly it down the river. Yeah. There you go. Do not go in the water. I might have to get out and walk around for this. Oh, I might get through there. I want to go fish off these rocks. The boys. The buddy boys. They brought us to the best spot. So good of them. He's on. He's, he's on. on. He's on. Nice. Yeah, he's on. Decent got fish too. Oh, he's got me around the snags. Oh, shit. Got me around the snags. It was a good hit. Yeah, nice big hit. Look at him. He's got me around, eh? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty smart too. Oh, it's probably a catfish, mate. It's a big car. It's a big catfish. I'm trying to get it through this gap here. And he hit me way out in front of it, and I just went in a big loop. <laughs> yeah, you saw it happen. Yeah. Zeke's up the top here, this is a lookout. Oh, no, he come out. And he went that way and hit it. I was trying to get in the middle. What am I going to do now? What are you going to do? Bit of slack. All right, well, you wait here. I'll go get the dinny. Yeah. I reckon he should have brought him. Yeah. I don't think we're all fit in it. We have to bring the white boat. Yeah. Well, Dane's fish is well and truly stuck on the snag. I think he's just going to play it out there, wait for it. So the story, Dane and I did that big trip that you guys have probably seen the episodes by now, way down the coast into the Gulf, which was epic. Um, and we're obviously out of touch, out of service from everyone. And when we arrived back into Kawanyama, we're talking to some people that we knew, you know, our first phone calls, and we found out that one of the elders in town has passed away, which is pretty serious um, up here in this kind of country. And they actually closed a lot of the country. So we had to pack up the cruisers and, and get out of where, where our camp was. Um, but we got welcomed into this new area, a bit further inland, um, straight away by another traditional owner of this area. Um, his name's Chappie. You guys are all gonna meet Chappie tonight. He's gonna come out and have a cook up with us. Just looking at this tree. Anyway, um, yeah, you guys are going to meet Chappie tonight, but we're with his grandsons, or a couple of them. Um, they've been back and forth since we arrived out here, and they're showing us around, and they brought us out here to this river, because we're looking for a freshwater river to do a tinny drift. You guys know how much we, we love these tinny drifts. And they've brought us out, yeah, I thought I saw a croc. They've brought us out here today, and we've bush bashed through some crazy country. I'm really good with directions, and I'm lost. I, honestly, there's just rivers everywhere out here in every direction. Um, and just tracks going everywhere, but they've brought us to this spot and it's absolutely epic. So the plan is to uh, fish here for a couple of hours, just explore around this area, and then get back. We need to get a big fire going. And Dane and I brought a uh, big roast pork or a big big slab of pork from Cardwell Butchery. Thanks, Callan. Um, out here to cook for the traditional owners, just as a gesture for, for having us out here to say thanks. So. We've also just caught that barra. We'll probably get another one. Um, Chappie's going to cook up a cabbage tree damper, which is going to be pretty special. And he's going to tell us all some stories. So stick around for that. Right now, I'm going to fish in here. You see out here on this point, there's a lot of, um, you know, current. You can see the water moving. But we've been warned by several of the elders and these boys, but particularly the elders, saying that there are some monstrous crocodiles in this area. And we saw uh, Viv at the, he's an old fella who spent like 50 years here with the old fellas, um, just learning their ways and their culture. And he had this huge croc skull and it, like it was proper massive. And it put the, really put the wind up as thinking about, you know, he told us a couple of stories to go with it, but much bigger than our tinny, put it that way. Under a couple. Way up there. Oh, looks like it's Warwick.
Did he? Did you have it on the bank? What do you got, mate? Good job. What do you got? Yeah, nice little bear, eh? Yeah. <laughs> like he's a bit bigger than mine. Yeah. <laughs> Good man. Warwick just got a little beauty of a barra. So much fun being out here with the boys. And just, you know, spending time on country out here, like slowly. It's hard to explain, but like just being drip fed little bits of knowledge about, um, or little bits of information about their culture and you know their day-to-day -day life which is so different to ours it's nothing like it used to be you know back in the old days for them but it's still um particularly here where we are it's still very cultural and um it's still so interesting the way they live and you know i mean this is their backyard every chance they get they're out here they reckon and i couldn't think of anything better I hope my kids get to experience this kind of thing Tucked in under the trunk, don't they? It's crazy country through here. Look at this big palm. Wow, look at that thing. That is wild. Oh, I thought you were on, mate. Nah, it just I think a little archer just keeps. Trying to get this lure right at, right at my feet. How'd you go? Nah, didn't get a bite down there. No. Nah. Flicked a few under there under that tree, but maybe four perfect little ones under there and nothing. Damn. But I think you've got to get more in there. Yep. Everyone's going to meet Chappie. Chappie. Chappie's going to tell us all some stories. Dane's going to be the rival Story time. On, his, on his hands here with um, damper. Oh yeah, Chappie's going to cook us a damper. Cabbage tree damper. Cabbage palm damper. Yeah, it could be good. What do you reckon? It's amazing. I'm going to take his word. don't know how old Chappie is. But he looks like he's, he knows what he's talking about, I think. Some knowledge, I think. And that, that lady recipe has probably been passed down through generations. Dane just made his up at the shop the other night. <laughs> <laughs> worked out though. It did work out. Um, it's dark. So th bloody thirsty. He said, I'm glad I brought one cup of water. <laughs> yeah. Do you like to go fishing or hunting? Uh, <laughs> you know how to throw a lure. You obviously go fishing a bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we do. We half and half, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. Got a little cousin here. Mike. That's Mike. Hey, Mike, how you going? Good, how are you? Good, sir. Yeah, good. Yeah. What are you doing, gutting the barra? Yeah. yeah. See you, Katari. See you. Oh, straight past. That's where you got to be, though. Right in the blue of the couch. Boat, yeah, bro. Get in for them lure. Yeah, but we put a boat in there. Anyway, I reckon the best place up here, look, if you find a way to get in, chuck the boat straight in there. Yeah. Yeah. I think I can go fish. That would be so funny. <laughs>
so cool, eh? They're so loud. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, that's a fair way away. That's ages away. That's like 50 metres up. That's 150 metres away. So dinner starts Ooh. here. Got to get some firewood, eh? Samara's got the chainsaw going. I'm going to chop up some firewood, head back to camp. We're going to cook up, Dane and I are going to cook up a big roast pork, like I said before. So we've got two camp ovens. Um, we're going to get that cracking. And then Dane might whip up a damper. And Chappie's going to whip up his cabbage tree damper. So it's going to be an absolute feast. We've got a couple of barra to go with it. And a surprise. And a surprise. A surprise. A surprise with his drove pump. Oh, yeah. Is that the Sarvo? Yeah, that's a start. Yeah? You want to go back? Oh yeah, because we might chuck the, put the roast on and then go back. Could be a surprise. We could put a surprise on the vegetables, who knows? Ooh, Damper. yeah. I'll show you soon. I wonder what it could be. We just drove past it. Hint, hint. Good boys. <laughs> Cameraman one. <laughs> yep. You wash your hands? Yep. Here you go. Oi, oi. <laughs> Straight on the thumb. Dress salt. Yo, this is gonna be delicious. <laughs> yeah. Yo, epic. Yeah. That's it. Roast for dinner. Mm. Barra for, for lunch. For Barra lunch. For afternoon tea. Yeah, afternoon, afternoon tea. tea. <laughs> Might as well. Fire going. Nice and quiet around the camp at the moment. Getting ready to cook the damper. Chappie's got you both doing all the hard work. Yeah. Nice and nice and. Oh, yeah, you want to turn it on? Yeah, that's it. And you can bend it like this. So you can point it at things. <laughs> point it at the cousin. <laughs> So, what's your name? Zakiem. Zakiem. How old are you, Zakiem? Nine. Nine. Do you like fishing? Mm. Hunting? Damper? No. You don't like damper? No damper. You know, we usually bless our like, newcomers to the country, you know, mm. bless them to the country. Like, mm. Get a cup of water from the water. river and wet their heads. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, but I'm. Um, but we didn't do that with you. Usually when before you don't, come. yeah, before you yeah. come, and like if you don't do it, you, you usually don't catch anything. <laughs> yeah, because we brought maybe a, that's why Dane dropped his fish. Yeah, yeah. bro, eh? Because um, we brought I brought a bloody, or not me, but Chappie brought the police, one of the policemen out here, and we forgot to bless him. He, he didn't catch anything all day. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, if you don't yeah. do it, you, it's either. The people who took you out there don't catch anything, or you guys don't catch anything, you know? Yeah, that's why I reckon we didn't land a lot of barrels today. Is it a danger as well? Like, if we are blessed, then um, we're safer in your country? Yeah, I think I think it is, because um, oh, well, back in the day, the old people had um, stories about all these big ghosts that live out to like, protect the land, you know? Mm. If, like, strangers come onto the land, and they'll make you walk off into the bush and you won't be found, you know? Oh, jeez. Yeah, well, that's, that's the stories we right, used to hear. let's get down in the water. This place is here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's the stories we used to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Before, yeah. <laughs> that looks good. You've done yeah. this before. Yes, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, like yeah. 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 It's mainly the ladies cook, cook yeah. there for, yeah, for, for us men. But yeah. like, some boys like to cook the damn for two, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't like on the dog get on my hand if it's... <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> and the turtle too, right? Eh? Yeah, yeah, I could cook the turtle. Yeah. 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 What we do, like with the long neck turtles, you just cut that neck, like just on the, before the shelf, 
And then just pull it all his guts out and his intestines and stuff. It all just comes out there. Yeah, just pull it straight up. But you gotta be careful when you're pulling it out. Yeah. You don't want it to break inside. So then you have to cut him on the side and pull him out. Yeah. It's nice, man. Pull him out like one go and just there, you know. So you don't cut it too deep. Yeah. You just cut a little, a little you bit. Just cut it like just a little slit, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. Straight across the neck, and then you just dig your hand in, reach for the, the, the tube. Yep. Yeah. And you just pull it all out. It's nice too. The yeah. guts, you know. Yeah. The guts are nice. The guts are nice. Oh, really? Wash, yeah, bro. You just wash them out, and then oh shit, chuck them on the coal. Oh, yeah. Really? It's nice. Oh. Yeah, we them land you said. Nah, no, this follow with them land. They up here. Really? On this side or on that side? On this side. Ah, well, let's just see. Oh, you're the one that put the lines yeah, in there? Yeah, he's the one that put the lines yeah. in there. <laughs> you reckon he got There's enough? some turtle on there. We'll cook him up. Yeah. yeah. That'd be good. good. Do, you have to, do you have to squeeze anything out of it? Or out of the guts or anything? Oh, yeah, just pull it, whatever it's been eating, you know. You should just pull it, it push it out, yeah. yeah. You're eating like a lining. The yeah. Uh, yeah, just all okay. inside. Yeah. yeah, the whole guts and the intestines. Yes, 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 yes. How do you cook that? I just chuck it on the coal. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you Warm wrap it up. up. And you wrap it up with a alpha. Yeah. I like it off the coal, though. It's, it's, yeah, the flavors are much yes. nicer. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this thing. It looks perfect. <laughs> it's going to come up nice, too. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, good job, my brother. Now. Yeah. Straight in the fire. The beginning of the Arvo cook up. Ripper fire, eh? It's so hot. <laughs> it's so hot. So we're just preheating the ovens. They're well and truly preheated. Getting the coals ready. The boys are down at the lagoon down here having a flick. And they reckon they're going to bless us into the country here with some water. So I'm about to walk down and get blessed to country, which is pretty cool. Dane's going to drop the roast in. You going to do that now? Yeah. I might hang around for that. We'll drop the roast in and then we'll head down to the um, lagoon. There's this big lily field lagoon down here. I'll show you in some drone footage. Um, absolutely beautiful, long stretching lagoon. And the boys reckon they've never fished it. They catch freshwater turtle in there, but they've never fished it for Barramundi or Saratoga. And I'm sure there'd be some big ones in there. So over the next few days, you might see us flicking this lagoon and hopefully we'll um, get a big girl out of there. This is the roast pork from Cardwell Butchery. We've been waiting for this moment. Ooh, it's so hot. <laughs> even, even the plate's hot now. <laughs> it hasn't even done anything. It's delicious. It's good, so Dane's done the um, ooh, Dane's done the fat with white salt and oil. Yeah, a bit of olive oil, a bit of salt. Hopefully we get some crackling. Hopefully. <laughs> I guess it's super hot, so those coals will just cool down. So it'll probably work in our favour of like blasting it at the start. Yeah. Easy. Oh, I can't go over there. <laughs> and they're on. Oh, look at this lagoon. It's magic. You got a bite yet? Yeah, one bite. Yeah? Is it a big barrier, you reckon? Um, probably. <laughs> Oh, 
So tell us about this big crocodile. Yeah, he lives here. See just up here? Yeah. It comes around. Yeah. It goes around and goes straight up. He lives up in there. Yeah. Oh, is that a freshwater mussel? Yeah, you want to eat? Yeah. Find some oh. more, yeah? We'll get, yeah, if you can find more. Yeah, I'll just leave him here. We'll find them all along the trail. Really. Okay. Yeah, me and my mother are fucking about to find them a lot. Yeah? You like them? Are they yum? Yeah, we don't eat them. We use them for bait. Oh, do you? Yeah, oh. I want to eat them. Oh. What? <laughs> Croc. Nah. Hit. Ah. I know they're going to be in here. Oh yes! Ah, oh, what was that? Little barra. Nah, I'm not sure what that was. So this big crop lives around the corner here. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, that was me, mate. You got a hit, eh? Yeah. They live up in here. It sort of stops right oh, here. It does too. Here. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's about probably knee deep or probably waist deep. Through here, through this section. Oh, oh, yes. Bro, Come on, guys, that? get one. What was that? <laughs> oh, I just hit right here. <laughs> Poof. Sound like a barrel hit. <laughs> You're nice and slow, mate. Yes! Yeah, yes! Oh, oh, you're doing too much, buddy. Yes! Hey. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, oh, Maybe those hooks are no good. Yeah. They're too small. <laughs> now we can catch fish, eh? <laughs> We've been trying to find him for two weeks. Work just goes, oh, look. <laughs> What's going on here, Chappy? He's cooking the damper, mate. Yeah, he's rolling him up. Damper. Wrap him up in there. Wrap him up in this, eh? Yeah. That's what Fowler's doing. Wow. Why is that so warm? Is that just from the sun? No, he just warmed no, up. No, just warmed, warmed up. up. You gotta fire. warm up again. Yeah. Cultural reasons, mate. Yeah? Yeah. How'd you go on the dough? Hmm? How'd you go on the damper, all right? Mm -hmm. fella? I reckon he's done pretty good, eh? Yeah, he's yeah. done real well. Yeah. Hmm. Why, eh? Try him up here, mate. See, tie wire fixes everything, eh? <laughs> yeah. Here. 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 What would you use back in the old days there, Chappy? Hmm? What would you use in the old days? Oh, well, the same thing from this end. Yeah, no, the younger ones are oh, yeah. much more well, thing, yeah. I'll, go, I'll grab it. You grab, grab yeah, another you one. It's on my easier. trailer. Yeah, I think. think. Younger, younger, um, younger leaves here. I'll just show you how to do one of these. Give me one of these. Hold this. Hold this here. Right. I thought you would do it with a 
out of yeah. the tire wire. Yeah. yeah, okay. Just like that. That works. Knife, knife. Oh, Come man. on. <laughs> there was one here. There's one over there. Right there. Cut him off here. <laughs> Walks around a little bit. <laughs> then bury him, a chap? Yeah. Bury him in the ground, boys. How long you reckon, Chappy? All good. How long you reckon? Oh. Quicker than Danes yesterday? Oh yeah. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> what do you want to do? Have a quick flick? Yeah. While we're waiting for damper? Yeah. And then we'll come back and have a chat with Chappy. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, mate. I don't trust this, so I'm gonna stay. Oh yeah? Yeah. Don't trust what these? Yeah, because you reckon Chappy will eat it. Oh yeah. It's this spot, eh? Oh, it looks. This is the river. Yeah, not the lagoon. Oh, this looks good. Little crop. You come got here. The, the deep lure did it. Yeah, come here. <laughs> oh, look at him. Good time, man. Come on. Good <laughs> job, mate. Nice little barrel. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> look at him. Good, nice little good size. job, mate. Yeah. That was your first cast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no. What, second? Oh, was it? Yeah, second. I'm going to let him go. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Send me another big barrel. Nah. <laughs> oh, and off he goes. So good. <laughs> what a spot. Oh, that was mad. <laughs> oh. Hey, you like that? Rods are working. Huh? Good rod. Where's he gone? Yeah. Okay. Hey. Ah, that's what you got to do, eh? You take you show me the way. Goanna, a wallaby. Hey. Oh, I can see the snag out there.
chưa có cái sọt phơi ăn đi sang cái cục tự đẹp quá That's a good one. Yeah. Well, it smells yeah, good too, awesome. Chappy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's like a garlic bread, eh? Mm. Yeah. Oh. I just cooked a bunch of garlic and oil right there. Oh, just for it? Yeah. Good job, mate. Always nice. thinking ahead. Good one. Leave it there, leave it there. Wait for supper. Cheeky boy. <laughs> nice one, Chappy. All good, mate. This is uh, like maybe a little outstation for Wanya. Okay. Simpi and Wanya, we both big family members. Okay. So my fam, my connection with those family down there from my grandfather's side. Yeah. So the grandfathers I had down there were Simon, Larry, uh, Simon, Walter, hey. Shane. My grandfather. Where are those plates? What's going on over here, boys? Yeah, got everything in here. Dane's cooked a feast. Cooked a feast. <laughs> roast pork, roast veggies, damper. the damper. <laughs> Bit short on plates, are we? Bit short on plates. I'll eat in the bar. A little bit of garlic bread. I'm going to film myself too. Oh, is that garlic? Is that the juice with garlic bread? Yeah. Yeah, look at that stuff. Feel it behind me, Walt. I'm going to film some of this while the boys serve their dinner. Yeah, you serve your dinner too. I'll have a bowl. Give me a bowl. Yeah, you're going to have a bowl. <laughs> Just one. Oh, you got Dane's bowl. <laughs> Yeah. All right, who goes first? Who caught the biggest barrow today? Me. It yeah, wasn't you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dane did. Uh, I didn't get it. Yeah, he, was, he got one, but he just ran him, eh? Hold him down. Yeah. No, but that was bigger. Yeah, that looks good. It's looking good over there, Chappie. Up here in my little oasis. This is the um, the Bush Company rooftop tent. Not sure which one it is, what it's called. I'll have to check that for you and leave it in the link below. But um, this is my little oasis up here. No mosquitoes, no snakes, no crocodiles. It's bloody good. But that's going to be it for another episode. Um, what an amazing day it was. Sharing sharing time and um, exploring the country with Chappie and, and Chappie's family, all the boys. We had an absolute ball today. So. If you're watching guys thanks for showing us around we really appreciate it um all the viewers out there thanks for watching we appreciate each and every one of you for watching and for you know for liking and giving us a thumbs up sending us comments doing all that stuff following us on instagram um, we really appreciate the support and everyone buying shirts merch all the you know the caps and all that stuff it's unreal it's so cool where this where this channel's going so thanks guys um the next few days um, no idea what we're going to be doing, just fishing, exploring this country here. Um, we might put the tinny in and, and explore some fresh water, chasing bigger barra. But at the moment, we're just, um, just getting to know the people and getting to know the country that we're on and learning, learning wh which rivers are where and where the salt water is, where the fresh water is, all that kind of stuff so that we can fish it properly over the next few days. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you come back next week and, um, we'll see you all then.